How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the thing that you're seeing on screen. And if you follow my Instagram, because I posted this during the weekend, is this new clothing system that I find that it works excellent. It does exactly what I need. It can allow you to get custom clothes for your metahuman in a much easier way than going and skinning or even swapping bodies. Not only is it easier, but it also has clothing simulation, as you can see from the video. So let's get started. Now, before we get into how to use it, we need to install the plugin first. So let me show you. All right, here on the website, you, once you get in, you're going to see that you have various types of subscription because this is a subscription modality. I'm going to be doing the $30 a month. If you pick the one that's better for you. However, once you create the account, and if you haven't used it already, like I have, you should see a button for the free trial. They do have a free 14 day of free trial that is great for you to test everything out. It has everything, uh, all the things that I'm going to show you in this and coming videos will be available to you with this free trial. Now, after you've subscribed, all you have to do is go into your account and then go into here, download you Draper installation. This is an exe. So you're going to run it as a regular Windows application. I think this is only for Windows. I'm not sure if there's for Mac or Linux, but I think this is only for Windows. So then you have the UE5 sample project. This is a UE5 sample project. It's not for a UE5.1. However, UE Draper does work in UE5.1 and it even has a 5.2 preview accessibility. However, I'm, I'm not touching anything 5.2, so let's just stick for 5.1 until the official release. Now, once you've agreed to the terms, you're going to get to this part from your EXE. And this is the part where I want to show you that if you um, click here, you're going to see all the Unreal Engine possibilities. Now, I am not I do not have 4.27 or 5.2 in my system. That is why it's not checked. If you by somehow don't see uh, your Unreal Engine here, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for a video that they have on how to solve that problem. But I have installed this into a different drive and Unreal Engine is in a completely separate drive. So I don't see why this would happen to you. But if it does happen, there's a link in the description down below. If you don't see it checked already now, just click next all the way through, select where you want to install it, install it. And that is it. You don't have to do anything else. Once you're done installing the plugin, you have to, of course, uh, turn it on here in Unreal Engine. So if we go here into plugins, we're going to search for you drape and you're going to see that I already have it selected. Once you select, it, it's going to prompt you to restart like every plugin here in Unreal Engine. Just restart your project and you will be done. Now, once you have restarted your project, uh, you're not going to have this drape editor like I do. I'm just going to close that out and show you how to bring it back. You should get it. Just get a metahuman. We'll talk about doing it with a separate skeletal mesh in another video. But for now, we're going to do metahumans. So you have your metahuman here. You can do it in the blueprint as well if you want to. But I'm just going to do it here in the metahuman that's on the scene. And all you have to do is go to body. Now you're going to see this new thing here called Draper. Once you have the plugin on, this Draper thing should come up. And all you have to do is click add. You just click add once and that is it. You don't have to click it again. Now, what this did is it added a collider, a simulation and a garment. So the garment, this is where your clothes is going to go. And we're going to do the simple part on this video. And then we're going to build on doing more complex things uh, because I am going to be experimenting with jackets, with armor and all that. So just for this video, just so you can guys can follow along and uh, configure your simulation here easily. Now, once you have this, thankfully, they also have some outfits for you to try. And these are the outfits that I have right here, and you can get them from the ready to wear. If you go into the ready to wear section, you can see that they have some outfits here that are uh, for free. These are exactly for you to just test out the system. And I selected this one for the top and I have these pants and these shorts. So just get those. You'll get them into your account and then you can download them. So if I go back to my account and download section, you can see there's two buttons. 
I hit the download button and this will give you an archive file. Now the archive file looks like this. I just extracted it. You can use the archive file as it is and the program will extract it for you and you can just extract it by yourself. Um, it, it Windows does it, it just extract it. It takes no time. So, but this is how it looks. And in here, there's a bunch of things that again, we're gonna talk about in a coming video when we do the more custom clothing. But for now, we'll just use what they give us. So you can try this out. And all you have to do is go back here to Unreal. All right, now once we have this, what we're gonna do is, in this case, I'm going to do archive because the folder that I already have, already have a simulation that I did for the sequence. And I want you guys to see what happens if you do this from scratch. So if I click on archive, I go here to tutorials, like this. Now take a little bit, it's going to extract it. And as you can see, I have the pants on, which, they are looking okay. Now you can see, usually you get a message. I didn't get a message this time. I don't know why, but wrap should be on. So if I click on wrap, you're gonna see, this is the message that I was talking about. So this garment was saved, wrap with different character mesh. Click okay. And you, you see that it unchecks wrap. Now, the reason why wrap is so important is because when you're simulating, you want your garment to follow your character. If it's not wrap, it's not gonna do it. So in order to correct this problem, we need to use the draping editor, which actually runs while it's in simulation mode. So make sure that you go into this three dots up here, you click here, and instead of playing select the viewport, you play on simulate, all right? So now that we're taking care of that, we can go here, and we click on edit and edit it's going to give you this window this window is the draper editor which i decided to have it here you can actually float it and have it floating you can put it somewhere else i just like having it here uh, just put it wherever you want and it comes with several things that again we're going to look at in the future but for now what interests us is the fact that we can hit save while this thing is running so I'm going to click simulate. You can see that the pants moved a little bit. That means it's simulating and I click this uh, little hard, uh, this little diskette. And it has saved the simulation. And now if I go back to my garment, I can actually wrap it. And the reason why I can wrap it is because it's already simmed on top of it. So now it will, will work well in sequencer before i actually tried this without doing the wrapping and it, it was going a little bit haywire so make sure you do these steps before you actually go into sequencer now i want to give her something for the top because that doesn't look good so i'm just going to go and click on draper simulation you can click on add component and just type drape and i think you can see this yeah so you are going to select draper garment now i selected it this way so it didn't layered it this works as a layering system which again we're going to take a look at in another video once we are doing more complex outfit but right now because these items are not overlapping i don't care in which uh layer category they are right now so you can actually rename these we're going to rename these two pants and we're going to rename these to top. All right. And for the top, we are going to do this one right here. It's going to extract it. And again, it's going to say the same thing. And this one's actually more apparent to what's going on. The pants were kind of fitting her body already. But this one is, yeah, this, this one doesn't work like this. So what we need to do is do what I just showed you is go into start simulating. You can see that actually pops and she is wearing this very well right now. And all we have to do is click on save, stop the simulation and they stay in place. All right, so make sure you do those and your character will be fine. As you can see, it fits completely well. Now, to further show you that this can work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sequence. I'm going to create a new sequence, actually. I call it tutorial test. 
and everybody knows how to create a sequence and all that jazz so i'm just going to throw in my character here and if we go into the metahuman control rig get the shapes you can actually see how these work if i bring this up you can see that it actually bends and folds with her the frame rate is very choppy because it's a simulation and this is what i meant when i said that this wasn't meant to be used for real time and everything works well let's show it with an animation so i'm going to get rid of control rig i want to get rid of this we don't need this either and I'm just going to add an animation here. Uh, let's do a backflip so we can do something different than the one you saw from the video in the beginning. Now you're going to see that she does that. The pants are staying on, but this thing is left behind for some reason. We need to fix this problem. So we're going to go into details. Let's look at what happened. Uh, it's a good thing that these errors happen in real time. So again, I wasn't planning for this, but it's good that this happened because now you can see what happens when wrapped is not turned on because wrap isn't turned on. Once she moves, she completely loses the clothing that's right here, just floating. So if I click wrap, you can see that it pops right on her. And when we do the simulation, you can see that this clothing actually follows her. All right. So you can see that working pretty well, backwards and forwards. And the hair is going crazy. I wish the simulation of the hair were as easy to manage as the simulation for the clothing. But simulation for the hair can get very crazy sometimes. So yeah, she's Chewbacca again. Usually the way that I get her hair to go back to where it should be is going into body and just click on here where it says custom mode, just change it to animation asset and it pops back up and you get normal looking hair. Now, I know this is flickering a little bit. That's because I'm running in a lower setting just so I can run the simulation while also recording without any issues. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Just something for you to check out. Uh, make sure it works for you because the next video, we're really going to go in depth into this tool and we're going to use it with a more complex outfit. So make sure this one is working for you before jumping into the higher difficulty. Thanks everybody for watching as usual. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks to everyone on the Patreon. Everybody is on screen right now. There are two levels of patrons if you want to help out the channel, but if not leaving a like, leaving a comment goes a long way, helps the algorithm uh, know that I'm here. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post all sorts of different stuff about the channel and other projects that I'm working on. So make sure you follow me there. Uh, there's a discourse if you have any question and i'll see you in the next one